My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a fun bug right here. It's a 1969 Volkswagen Beetle and obviously it's been customized. It has a cool Southern California look uh, and it's also got a hopped up motor so it performs too. Go to volocars.com as you can read all the specs and study over a hundred pictures of this car. That's also where you'll find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. volocars.com if you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Oh man, this thing is cool. First of all, I love the color. I'm a sucker for that color on any car, but this thing's lowered down two and a half inches, got a great stance uh, underneath. It's got uh, drop spindles up front, it looks like, it has coilover springs in the back. Uh, the bottom of the motor is all clean and nice looking. Uh, it has a polished stainless steel MP exhaust system. You'll hear it at the end. It sounds like a V8. But the body, there's a lot more than meets the eye to the body here. And here's something that's really cool. Remember the big ugly tail lights? Well, this is water jet cut and it has the VW logo for the tail lights with LED fixtures behind it. The hood is custom. There would be vents across here, but that's all smooth and filled in. It has the extender brackets to keep the engine cool and people can peek in, see what you got there. The rear bumper's been deleted. Uh, there would be a molding going across here. That's been removed and filled, so it's nice and smooth. Got new welting between the fender and the body. Looks like all the rubber gaskets have been replaced. Uh, it has a really neat uh, like thinned aluminum running board and when you open the door the sill plates match so like it goes right into the car. Got a billet mirror. Now up front here it also have big ugly turn signals mounted right here but they're moved down here. Got some nice chrome oval uh, covers and they're also LED. It also has the earlier slant uh, type headlights much nicer looking than what would have been on here in 69. No front bumper. The windshield looks new. Chrome emblem was replaced. Yeah, the rubber gasket. And then of course we got a, this all stainless steel, not a cheap chrome. It's all stainless steel roof rack. And this is a real surfboard. I picked it up and it like weighs nothing. It's a real surfboard. That'll go with it. If you buy the car, make sure you tell the guys to don't forget it. Load that up with the car. <clears throat> the interior is really cool. It's got four racing bucket seats. I think that's such a neat idea. I would have never thought of that. Uh, but it's all redone from carpet to headliner. <clears throat> the engine compartment still latches properly, even with the extensions on the hinges. It has nothing to do with how it locks and latches. <clears throat> Look at all the chrome. You need your sunglasses. The whole engine bay is all lined in chrome. The engine is completely covered in chrome. The alternator, the coil are chrome. It's a 1,915cc motor. I think stock there about 1,600. It's got bigger pistons, bigger uh, valves. It's got a special cam, and it has dual 40 millimeter Weber uh, two barrel carbs on it. Uh, and they look like they're new. So you have beautiful motor compartment. And up here in the uh, trunk, it's finished off real nicely. Underneath the carpet, it is a new insulation mat. Uh, under the lid here is painted nice. You got a cover over the tire. You do have the tools. It's got the original jack. And there's also a Planet Audio amplifier for the stereo. And this back uh, firewall cover is new, new gasket. So getting back to the interior, you got three-point seat belts for all four passengers. Down on the floor, we got new carpet. You got the, the Beetle floor mats are new. 
There's a center console there. It's got a scat shifter with the chrome T handle. Uh, door panels look new. It's got billet cranks. All the dash trim is new or excellent. Uh, it has a nice billet steering wheel with the VW horn button. Uh, new headliner and visors. Now it's got a Pioneer stereo. You've seen the amp. It's also got two Planet Audio subwoofers. It's got six by nine speakers under the seats two round speakers in the console. I did turn it on, it plays, it sounds great. Uh, big monster tack with the uh, shift light, lights up, lets you know when to shift. Uh, what else we got in here? The fire extinguisher, oh, that reminds me, back on the engine, it has a oil breather system. A lot of reasons why some of these would catch fire is it would just spray the oil on the motor and it would catch fire. This has a nice breather system into a billet container and stainless braided hoses. Uh, I didn't know what that was and now I found out today. So there you have it. We got a really cool, fun, fun little car. I forgot to mention the aluminum MP wheels has the blue uh, trim ring around the, the rim of it. Um, There you have it. Contact our salesman if you have any questions or concerns. They'll help you out the best they can. I don't think I've really talked about the paint. It's show quality paint. It's gorgeous. I'm sure you can maybe find a tiny flaw if you had to, but practically flawless paint, beautiful straight body. But the salesman, they'll help you with the financing and delivery. And uh, that's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our website, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.